Welcome to day 34 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today we're going to learn how to do this text staggering animation on page load using GSAP on Webflow. So we're going to basically animate this text every time I load the page. This is going to come in word by word as you can see here on the screen and it's going to be super smooth, super nice, super easy to build. We're going to use the GSAP library and we're going to use a split type library which is going to help us split these words word by word basically so that we can animate them one by one. It's going to be easy to apply this to any sentence on our page and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Now this is done just on page load. You can customize this to be on scroll, to be on section view when section falls into view uh, and you can customize this depending on how you animate your website. So without further ado, let's jump to it and see how this was built. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey because a lot of things are coming on the way. So let's go. All right, so today we're gonna animate this text to be staggering in one by one on page load. So first of all, shout out to Timothy Rex who gave me this idea on one of his clonables uh, called GSAP Text Animations. Also shout out to um, Webbay who provided this awesome resource library that you can clone uh, by signing up to his website. Uh, this is free and it's awesome because it has a lot of animations, a lot of uh, details that can help you with uh, a lot of GSAP, especially when it comes to GSAP, it's already there. So this is the split type library that we're going to use. Now let's start using our code to animate this. So I'm, I'm going to leave the code for you down in the description below so you can copy it. And uh, yeah, let's get to this. So first, we will need to call the CDNs of these libraries. So I have this installed on my custom code page settings, like on the site settings basically. So I use the FinSuite tool to add custom codes to my site, to my entire site. So I'm calling the PKG split type library, which you can find here on split type. And uh, this is a very nice library that is free that you can use to basically split words and sentences into lines, words, characteristic characters. So that's up to you. And uh, the second is calling the CDN of the GSAP library. So this is there. So these two CDNs, I'm going to, I'm calling them. I'm saving them on my site settings so that I can use this anywhere on my website. The second thing is adding the GSAP animation. Now I'm using Slater to add my code. Now Slater is good because uh, you can just use it, edit the script without having to publish every time. But first, we will need to make one publish. So what I need to do is I will need to add an attribute to my heading main, the one I want to animate. And I'm going to add an attribute that I'm going to name text animate. And uh, basically this is what I will be targeting. And then I will copy the code that I have written and that I will leave for you in the description below. So this is the code. So this code is basically splitting the text animate into different words and naming them span. And the second part is the GSAP animation. So I'm animating the text animate that my GSAP timeline is finding every word and animating it. Auto alpha is something again I've learned from Webbay and it's uh, in, it's regarding the zero to one opacity. So um, from zero to 100% opacity. So this is uh, good because it doesn't give you any glitches or any you know errors. It just animates really smoothly. The Y percent is basically when uh, the animation starts. So it starts. 100% below its original spot and then goes to zero. So I say 100% from Y. So if I change this to X or if I change the number, it will just adjust accordingly. The duration is the duration of the animation. The ease is the back out. Now you can change the ease from here. So this is Greensock Ease Visualizer and uh, it has different 
ease methods that you can use. I'm, I'm using back out because it gives me that bouncy, that bouncy animation. So it like it animates and then just animates a bit more and then goes back to the zero. So I want to do that. And then stagger now I'm stagger. I'm using the stagger for each word of 0 0.2. So if I have a longer sentence or a shorter sentence, it will still give me the same field because I'm using each. So now that I have this done here, I'm going to publish to dev to development mode. And I'll just see this now we'll just save to dev wait till the slide good turns green. Let's wait, let's wait light turns green light is green. Now we can go to our website and see this animation. Uh, something is up. What did I miss? Let's publish. Maybe I didn't publish this text animate. I did. Okay, now it's there. Maybe I didn't, I didn't publish it fully. So now you can see that the text is animating word by word from the bottom and it's giving that back ease, you know, so it's like, you know, having that bounce at the end. And if I want to change this, let's say I want this to come in from the left, I can use X percent and change the, the number to minus 100. And uh, let's see how that is done. Now see with Slater, I don't have to publish every time I make changes. I just wait for that light to turn green after I save to development mode and I save and you see now it comes in from the left. And uh, if I want, I want it to come in differently, I will just change those numbers. Now I don't want that. I just want it to come from the bottom. Now, if I change the duration, let's say to 0 0.9, make it slower. Again, I save to dev. Just wait a few seconds and uh, light turns green. You go to your animation and you see now it's a bit slower. Now I can, since I'm targeting an attribute called text animate, I can add this to any of my elements on my page. So let's say I want this to animate as well. I can just add text animate here. And uh, let's say this one also text animate, let's say this one, just go crazy with it. Just go crazy. Just apply it everywhere, just everywhere. And let's see how this animates. So now I need to publish because I added an attribute to my texts. So this needs to be published. It cannot happen from Slater. So one more thing, since I'm using an animation here, you might think this is slowing down my website or uh, affecting my performance. It's actually not. I can still get a good result out of my website, even though I'm adding these animation. And that's why GSAP is a very good library because it doesn't really affect your site that much. It doesn't really cause any problem with load times and all that. So it's still performing very well. Um, I have my 99 performance. Uh, you can see that it is still doing very, very good. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, drop them in the comment section below and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey by subscribing to this channel. See you tomorrow.